So, we have the Wenger Music Filing Storage System. I'm sure you're all very, very familiar with them. But for us, for orchestra, our music, because of the size that it is, can't use every shelf. This shelf is fixed and does not move. This shelf is fixed and is not adjustable. So therefore, the only way for us to make it work was to have music here and then have these kind of mini shelves, which were very helpful for sometimes for grabbing or sorting or stuff like that. The other thing is, is when I inherited this library, it was in alphabetical order, and for 20 years I've kept it that way, but we're going to move to the number system so that as we buy new stuff, it just goes on the end, and you're not constantly pulling stuff out, putting it back in constantly so that you can um, add pieces. We're just going to have a continuous flow like this. So step one is to empty all your drawers out, <clears throat> and once you've done that, then they give you this simple template. And you place this template on the edge of the system right here like this. And then you simply put marks where you're going to drill holes. Now, initially, I used this template on the first one I did. And it works fine. But I've found that it's better to go this way and work from that edge. Actually, I left that little turn. There's a little tab there. I left that in there. And go this way. It, what it does is it recesses your bars a little bit more. So if you look down here, you'll see that my bars are recessed in that way. So there's more room at the front here and less room at the back. And I've just found that that's better because when these drawers open and close, you have more room here between your other folder system. So then you simply install these brackets, which is just four screws. It's very easy. Um, make sure you don't drill your pilot holes too long so you don't go through the front of the cabinet. But uh, just real one eighth drill bit, quick. Doesn't take any time at all to install those cabinets. Then they give you these filing folders and then you merely hang that on this track and you've got a spot for your music. So a completed empty shelf looks like this. Now when you're installing these folders, start with the bottom shelf and then the, do the top ones on top of it. Because the way these folders work is that if you are, if you have this row full, then installing these on, underneath them is a real pain because the bottoms get in the way and all this kind of stuff. So it's much easier if you do the bottom row first and then the top row. Just to kind of show you here. I'm just going to... So I take my folder and I put it in here and I can just go like that. And it is so much easier to install top, bottom to top, bottom to top. Now, when they tell you to hang these brackets... They say these should be from here to here, should be 10 and a half inches to here to here. And I'm finding that that is a little snug. And there's room for more. So if you look at this one up here that I've installed already, um, there's still a gap here at the bottom, pretty good gap. So these folders swing pretty good. And there's a fair gap at the top here above also. But when I did 10 and a half inches, and I was pretty accurate with my measurements, this top row of folders here brushes, hangs on the bottom bracket. So I would suggest more like 11 um, inches between. Again, if you look at the bottom, here, there's plenty of room that this bracket could be down a little bit, even a half inch, I think, and these would hang fine. And here, I'll show you one that I did with more space. Uh, let's see, I think it's this one. Yeah, so here, I did this one with more space. I haven't loaded it yet, but the gap at the bottom is fine. There's still a gap. It's not a lot, but there's still a gap. And again, I don't think it's gonna be a problem here. And then there's a gap here, so these can spring more, uh, swing more freely and, 
and your thighs. One other thing I want to tell you is um, when you put your music in, do it with the title um, in last. So you could put the bottom in first and slide your music in there. Because that way, just if you need to, I mean, you can have the labels here, so you'll be fine. But if you wanted to, you just double check. You just kind of, you can just pull it out. The title's right there. That's much quicker. So Now, one of the nice things about this system is the way the lab music is labeled. They send you these labels and they just slide into little slots that are provided on each folder. And even nice about that is you'll notice that each label even comes with an arrow pointing to which it is. So this is the Lion King right here. And this is Jamboree right here. So I have to put all these in, but you kind of get the idea of how you can find music quickly. You have a completed shelf. Uh, you'll see them all in and in order. And I'm really excited about this. I have each folder labeled. Here's an example of one that has two titles in it. So I have a beret and I have a beret in G minor and they're both in there in the one inch folio. And uh, you can just get the idea of there's the music and it's been so great so far this year because I just go to my list and I say what title I want and I just go exactly where it is and pull it out and when I'm done it goes right back in the same place. So this is where Bacchanal will always live right here. It should never move. Um, so are there any issues? The ends are a little funny because these don't always go to the edge, so sometimes those hooks come off. Um, so, you know, you just kind of start it in from the end on each side and don't go all the way to the edge. That's a little funny, but I don't know, that's being pretty picky. Um, this one here is missing a title because we're doing it right now. So, the, um, the because it has some empty in it, the music leans a little bit. But gosh, it's nowhere near as bad it used to be when I just had it on a shelf. Um, and I'm pretty happy with the results overall. So the big question is how much space did I save? I used to have the library fitting into six of these. One, two, three, four, five. So the sixth one is empty. And the fifth one is two shelves with some open space in the bottom. And because of weird, I separate my holiday music from everything else. The fourth one has a little bit of space in it too. Uh, so I would say I got six shelves into four shelves. I think, yeah, I got six six cabinets into four uh, shelves, and I couldn't be happier with the result.